In today's video everyone, we are going to be going over all the combat changes and combat overhaul in the new Granite update. First of all, Antlion Greatsword and Clubs and the Mantis Scythe have all gotten changed animations when attacking. So this is what they look like. These animations are sick. Uh, no, like... <laughs> first person mode. These things are incredible. I love this change. And then stabbing. It's stabbing now instead of a just a lunge down a bit weird for the antlion sword but that's that's the antlion swords it also is the exact same with the mantis scythe so same animation as well and this one has a slashing down animation instead of a stabbing animation really cool clubs on the other hand are 15 percent faster and the screen is reduced so like when you're swinging you can see it swings a lot faster and your screen shakes a little a lot less really good change i really like these changes now let's go over all the elemental weapon changes you different elemental weapons get a different effect once they hit level six so for example the mint mace once it's level six gets the combo finisher aoe which pretty much makes it the final hit in your three hit combo attack emits an aoe shockwave and we'll go ahead and we'll show you off what that looks like on a black widow just like that and it slows them really cool there we go. Spicy Coltana has final hit in your three hit combo. Slightly increases your perfect block window. So it's just like the Koi armor set a part of this. And perfect blocking while this buff is active significantly increases your next damage attack. I'm not going to show this one off because it's pretty self explanatory. You steal more damage in the next attack. Thought Morningstar gets the combo finish bleed. The final hit on your three hit combo applies bleed to a target. This weapon here is now going to be amazing for the Wasp Queen boss fight. So this is what it looks like. Three hit, hit combo. You got a bleed. It's not a very good bleed, but it's a bleed after every single three hit. And if you just saw that, I can hit twice in the air. It's the third hit that counts. You only need to hit the third attack and all these attacks apply. And for the Sour Battle Axe, the finisher attack speed, the final three hit combo in your attack increases your attack for a short duration. It's pretty much what that, what that looks like. One, two, three. And look how fast I'm, I'm attacking now. Really fast. That's all the elemental weapon changes. Honestly, Sour Battle Axe is now really good. And it's one of my favorite weapons, so I'm very proud about that. Another weapon they added in is a weapon called the Roman Candle, which shoots like little attacks. They don't really do much damage, but they do spicy damage. And the durability on it is kind of garbage. Like after 10 shots, it's already broken. They are relatively easy to craft though. Yeah, Gunpowder Club, Barrel Leather, and Sap. So for a ranged spicy attack, not bad. Now we have some new armor changes for the Grub armor and Clover armor. They are now considered as a tier one, as they weren't before, as here tier one. And what the Grub gear gives you is tender foot offense, which makes it you deal more damage to early game creatures. Now, I don't know if they're talking about early game creatures as in tier one only or tier two and tier one. And for the Clover armor piece, it's the exact same as the grub armor but this time they changed the set bonus effect to give you instead of like you maintaining more water you have a bandage on you at all times infinite bandage on you at all times as the set bonus effect which is really nice as well as tender foot defense which is pretty much makes it you receive less damage from early game creatures now once again i'm not sure if this is tier one creatures or tier one and tier two creatures another armor set that they have changed is the mask of the mother demon it's now down the heavy armor and same with the um infected brood mother armor set it's now instead of medium armor it's heavy armor so a slight nerf on that on that side also a change is to acorn armor acorn armor was really easy to craft and it was the best armor for tier one especially heavy acorn face mask has not changed its crafting recipe acorn chest plate has changed and it has berry chunks now i don't see any berry chunks on the chest piece but it now needs berry chunks so you're gonna have to go to the hedge to get that and for the leggings you now need algae which is in the pond and yeah i don't see any algae on here maybe it's these little straps here but yeah you're gonna need algae now. so you need to go everywhere in the yard to get this acorn armor set which means red ant armor set might be the new best armor set or grub or even clover armor set is really good now so another armor set or mutations that got buffed thorns got buffed i will test this out in a separate video but thorns got buffed by i think times six so we're going to see how good it is but thorns got buffed and mutations got buffed so keep an eye out in the next video for that one another armor set that did get changed was the widow armor set before with the widow armor set uh set bonus effect was after you kill an enemy you get a burst of movement speed which was kind of useless so they've now changed it to you now become empowered after killing a foe which gives you slight movement speed boost and damage boost after killing an enemy 
really strong gear and a very good change for a very hard creature to kill and the black widow did get changed stay tuned for that one and mutations speaking of mutations we have a new mutation called battle buddies which pretty much makes it for a multiplayer session you get reduced damage to your friends so you deal less damage to your friends and you receive less damage if they hit you back you get this by spending 3,000 raw science in the shop i don't see a complete use for this at all maybe for a creative game mode or something like that it would be really cool single player even multiplayer i wouldn't say it's the best either and now speaking of the infected broodmother her armor set did get changed um, she still has the exact same effects, now it's just heavy armor, and she has also big boom. This has got changed, explosive attacks have a chance to provide a stacking crit damage debuff, and this thing got empowered by a crap ton. Also, she now has an apex perdub mutation change, and I'll show you what that is right now. So when you hit an enemy, you have a slight chance of getting the mama mold, which gives it that you summon in puddles that give you crit chance and lifesteal. So it's pretty much just the, the puddle in the effect of Brew Mother Lair out in the world. This armor set now, is somewhat good just because of the apex proto mutation you need to be careful with shields now because shields give you the defensive stance every single shield which means shields prioritize defense over offense raising your block strength but lowering your damage dealt which pretty much means every time you're having a shield in your hand you're gonna deal less damage with one-handed weapons or daggers so a nerf overall so this might mean two-handed weapons are going to be the new meta instead of the widow dagger and best gear so just be careful that you're going to have less damage when you have a shield out this does not mean get rid of your shield it's just a lookout for this one also a huge change questionable slop has now been changed for soothing syrup it's going to be the exact same as questionable slop but this time instead of having three random ingredients it's now algae and mushrooms so that's just a quick change but a very big change is coming up smoothies have been buffed their healing increase they give you more healing now which is really nice but there's a catch every time you take a smoothie or eat an a, a cooked aphid or cooked weevil whatever you're going to have a four second delay before you can heal again this means you cannot just spam heals anymore which is what I, i'm gonna admit i did like doing and i'm a bit disappointed in this change but the healing has got increased so it might be substituted out i get more healing but i gotta wait less time so it might be the exact same but i just can't spam heal it's gonna make it the infected brimola boss fight it's gonna be really hard but this change is a bit weird because what if i wanted to stack up smoothies i'm gonna have to wait four seconds in between each smoothie and by the time I get my smoothies all the way buffed up, I'm going to be losing at least like 20 seconds on my first smoothie I drunk. So I have no idea how this is going to work out. This might get changed in the future. We're just going to have to find out. Now I'm going to start and kit up for the Black Widow fight because Black Widow's got changed and it's kind of huge. Also, a really good change that just came up. Um, You can craft as much as you want now with that way, without having a delay. I remember when I wanted to make as much bandage as I could and I had like a one second delay between crafting not anymore spam w and you can craft as much as you want i really like this change now as you can see the black widow got changed and when she shoots that out she shoots out a black widow and she can eat them and when she eats them have a watch she attacks insanely fast and she heals um hello is this something i should be worried about she will go out of her way and eat one of her children as she's in here she shoots another child and she will go ahead and eat one to gain health and she will attack stupidly fast like this change is it's a good change nonetheless but the way she just attacks now isn't is just she is a very hard to kill now especially in woe mode she just went ahead and ate her kid and look how fast she attacks it's insane if you were to do a five hit combo attack that'd be amazing boom also, in this playtest, there is a bit of a delay with blocking. Blocking is a bit weird right now. I don't know if it's a bug or not. It might be. It could be fixed in the future. Also, Black Widows have now changed their resistances. They are now resistant to every single elemental attack besides Sour. Sour finally has a use in this game. And I'll tell you, look, she's just going straight for her little Widowling that she just summoned in. Sour Battle Axe and Sour is now amazing in the game again. And I'll go ahead and show you how good the Sour Battle Axe is now against Black Widows look at this damage i killed her in granted she wasn't full hp and had a damage reduced effect i killed her in like four combos and she is dead sour now finally has a use in the game against black widows sour battle axe is now a very good weapon especially with this three hit combo attack crit and everything but yeah that's the end of the video and um that's the end of the combat overhaul and if you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe do whatever you want you can dislike if you dislike it and i'll catch you guys in the next video